Hi, this is Lewis from Gold Plating Services. Today we thought, you know, it's Mother Day, Mother's Day coming up, so we'd plate something using our rose gold solution for you. We got a just a standard kind of a stainless steel measuring cup, and to plate it, we're going to be using four different solutions: our ElectroClean, Trival, our Gel Brush Gold and our rose gold solution. Rob is going to be plating the item for us and he'll talk about it as he does it, just show you a little bit more, tell you more, and we'll see how it turns out. We, we haven't done one of these before, we thought it just kind of look cool. All right, thanks Lewis. We're just gonna get right into it. We're only going to do the inside of the cup. We thought it'd be cool to just have the inside rose gold and the outside uh, just stay stainless steel. So we're going to electroclean it. Let's carry a lot of solution, so I'm going to pour some back. Um, we're going to electroclean it for probably about a half a minute. We're doing this at 7 volts. Uh, I've been getting a lot of people asking what our rose, how our brush rose gold works and what it looks like. So pretty excited to show you this one. So we rinse it out, and what we're looking for here it just like all other stainless steel is for it to wet out and it looks like it did It'll take quite a bit of rinsing here okay now we're gonna go to the tri valve which is a strike just like woods nickel strike but the nice thing about this one is it actually applies gold it's a gold strike reason that's nice is you can actually see the areas that you've you've struck well and see any areas that you may have missed with woods nickel strike you have no idea you have to just remember where you've got and just trust that you did it well which most of the time works fine but some people do have problems where they miss a spot and when you miss a spot it's not very fun let me go ahead and dump that out and um we got the sides already nice and struck. Let's get the bottom. Okay, that'll do. Let's rinse it out. Probably should have had a little bit better squirt bottle here, but that is what it is. I'll reclip it here. All right, now we're going to Put on a thin layer of um, the 24K brush gold using the gel. And this is really standard practice when you're doing a rose gold to put a yellow gold underneath. A lot of people ask me, do I have to? The answer is no, you do not have to. You technically could, especially with the tri gold strike, just put the rose gold on top of it. But it is an industry standard to, um, to do so. All right, see a nice yellow gold color in there. You could stop there. It actually looks pretty cool like that. But what I'm gonna do is undo the thumb screw, hook up the rose gold here. And we're just gonna go straight for it. See it turn that nice pink rosy color. People are loving the rose gold lately, especially in the jewelry field. Uh, this time of year with the Mother's Day, stuff like that, it really is a big hit. And believe it or not, there's not very many good rose gold solutions out there. In fact, this is the only one I've ever used that works well. When we were trying to find a rose gold solution, we tried about everything you can find and uh, it's really hard to find a good one. So I've actually about got it plated. Let me dip one more time. Hopefully you can see inside of that all right. Once we get the solution out, we can look at it a little bit better too. I'll probably give 
this one to my mom for Mother's Day. Played up a couple other ones. All right, good enough. Let's check it out. Let me dip it in this beaker here to rinse it. And we'll take a look at it, see if we can get a good look. It looks a lot like copper. Um, rose gold actually is a mixture of copper and gold. The difference between rose gold and plain copper is that the little bit of gold actually keeps it from corroding. If that were just copper plated, that would look a completely different color really quickly, especially after a load in the dishwasher. But I think that'll hold up really well and uh, be a great Mother's Day gift. So yeah, get yourself some of this rose gold. It works really well for car emblems, all sorts of stuff. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe, like, and ask us any questions that you have. Have a good one.